It's double celebration for the popular for what are they family of Bagura in Abelkuta. And today we're celebrating the beautiful wife of Maritime Top Shots, um, Alaji Lukman Alade for what are they. Um, today we're also opening one of the biggest luxurious event center, the grand opening of Iceland Event Center on the city of Ali Mosho in Lagos State. Today we're celebrating the chairman of Bilaf Logistic uh, in Apapa, talking about Alaji Lukman Alade for what are they? Sir, you look so good. <laughs> of course, uh, you know, he always pay attention to details. Talking about what he wear, what he rock, and how he appears at events. You need to be at his office. He's not just well coordinated. He is a man who loves to do things the way it has to be done. Sir, you are a complete man. A complete family man, a businessman, a maritime top shot. And why event center? Why ask Iceland? Thank you, Viola. I really appreciate you for the question you just asked. Thank you, sir. Like, uh, I believe money is good, but there's some money I never want to make. Mm. Like, um, I have a lot of friends that does hotels, hospitality. hospitality business. But for me, it's a no-no. Not because of my religion. It's just about my person. You know, I don't want to make money from those sec sectors Sector. of business. I prefer the events all because they're not going to serve you a call. You bring your a call and you go with them. Hmm. That's the main, main, main reason, the major reason why I chose to have an event center. An event center. I, could, I, could, I can afford to build a very a five good, star hotel. A five star hotel by his grace. Yeah, but I like. chose not to. Hmm. If um, I'm more comfortable than I am, I'll still do an event center all over Lagos. Hmm. Uh, you call it Iceland. Yeah. And whenever we go into that event center, uh, you, th there is this chilled, I can say it is the most I, I, um, cozy event center in the heart of Lagos. Um, how do you do it? When you turn like this, you're seeing air conditioner. When you do like this, you're cold. I've seen top celebrities coming into that or saying, oh, you have this in Alimo shop. How did you get the idea to build such giant uh, event center, which is the most sought after in Ali Mosho now, the biggest in Ali Mosho, the luxurious in Ali Mosho. How did you get the idea to have that particular um, edifice on that main road? Glory be to God for everything mm -hmm. we do. Whatever it destined to be, will surely be, must surely be. It is destined that it's going to be. Because um, as of December 27, 19, 2015, 2015, I never thought of an event or because that was when I was 50. Mm. So um, I rented... Grandio. Grand we can't forget that pink so, no, Ashwabee no, 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 event. Not Grandio. I, I rent, it was done in... Um, yeah, 158. Yes, yes. So, Honorable. And then 2016, we had an opportunity via my very good brother, my friend, Abiodun um, Ejibadero. I cannot say the history of Iceland is not complete without mentioning Tunde Borokine. He's the chief architect of Iceland. Because um, I was to go there with Biodun Ejibadero and get a plot of land that he promised me that whenever he has any available property that he is working on, he will give me a plot of land. So I went there purposely to collect a plot of land, but today, Rokini insist, um, said, um, Alade, why don't you buy an acre and do an event? So I said, no, I'm not interested, because I thought I've seen it all, that um, I was okay with the little I had then. 
But uh, Tunde insisted that it's an opportunity, you are not going to pay once, we're paying, this guy is our person, blah, 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 blah. He never let me be until I got that place. Mm. So, all glory be to Allah, kudos to Tunde, Alaji Tunde Mahmoud Barakini, they call him Boro. So, and Nadeji Badero also, because they all stood by me, we all worked together. And uh, I always believe whatever is worth doing, it's worth doing well. It's either you do it or you let go. So, for me, Iceland uh, has to be cold. You know why? I'm a socialite, I've been to a lot of parties, I see people complaining, uh, it's out here, it's out there. But that's what? Well, if that is the case, we we'll make it a top notch, we we'll make sure the cooling is super. And uh, the name Iceland, I came across Iceland while I was on one of my trips to England. So there was a day I was going and they were sharing this pamphlet, advertisement pamphlet for a particular shopping, shopping mall. And the name of the shopping mall happens to be Iceland Shopping wow. Mall. So I took that from there, then we had a civic center because of the civic, popular civic center in Lagos. So I combined it all together to make it Iceland. And to God be the glory, Iceland is Ellen because our cooling is unique. Yes. yes. In the toilets, you have a cooling, um, this thing is cold. Even sometimes you have to come outside and they call on you. Yep. Um, sir, what has kept you going? You do a lot, you're a family man, you support the less privileged, you support your family, your children, your friends. What has kept you going? The thing that kept me going is God, Allah. Because uh, for me, after God is God. And uh, when you really believe in God, and you give everything in, you, 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 you are submissive to God and you have the fear of God he will be there for you too he's been there for me and uh, top the, 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 the top most of all is I have a good wife mm. talking about your wife Elijah Asizat Aduni for what are they um, she cherish you a lot so we know you're still going to see an interview and you will laugh because we've, we've spoken to you on many occasions. You all, all are in ISC. Um, can you take us back a bit to your journey of, into marriage and what has kept your marriage despite being a socialite? The only thing that kept, me in the, in my, in my, that I kept my marriage going is my wife. Mm. Because um, she's her understanding is top notch. <laughs> she really understands me, and uh, she has been my, my my support all the way. She prays for me when I roll my eyes. She knew, she knew what I meant by that, and uh, she doesn't stress me <laughs> at all. So what happy I, what, coming home. I'm, Always happy coming home because my major meal is just the meal I have in the house. Wow. That is my major meal. That is my last meal for the day, dinner. I hardly do lunch. So when I wasn't eating properly, she decided, okay, that it's good for me to always have something for breakfast if I leave the house. Mm. And that has been my, my veg. And um, I go out to work. Because when I'm working, I don't remember food. <laughs> I don't think I have to eat until when it's no late. Back home. So and mostly when I get back home, that's when I have my second meal. Mm. And uh, I give glory to God for giving me as he sat for mm. Mofalake, Mofalawe Adone, mm. because she has, she has been so supportive. Mm. She's prayerful. You know, these days, it's very difficult for you to see a woman that will wake up in the morning and come by the side, by the bedside of, his, of, of her husband and knelt down to pray for her for him. My, my woman does that every day. Mm. See, tomorrow, mm. she, when she wakes up, she comes by the side of my bed, say, Allah, day, 
Good morning, you're coming. Mm. And she prays for me. Mm. In that dawah. Sir, what, I, I spoke to you on one occasion, and you said, we are lacking the mother of Yahweh, and she Oh, Yahweh, me, he, bo, 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 me. And I remember you, you told me, you said, we suffer quite, we think continue of fact, for Yahweh, me, to say. And I look at you, you are everybody's dream husband, but you only own one wife. And we want you to advise many um, men or many men who have a lot to throw around and that yeah, or be must be one oh no. But how have you been able to do it? <laughs> I'm not perfect and mm. I'm not a saint. But I, I always tell people that having two wives or more is not all about money. Mm. It's not how rich you are that determines how many women you have. So I chose to have one because I have peace mm. with the one I have. Mm. She has given me all the peace in the whole, in the whole world. Mm. And I felt by having another one, it's like crossing the boundary. And I don't want to suffer. Mm. So I chose to stay with my Adoni mm. so that I can live long, Amen. longer than uh, I even dreamt of. Amen. It's your wife's birthday. And we call her your best friend because I, I have seen how mommy spoke so glowing about you. And so what is your special birthday wish to your own Adoni? Yeah, I yeah, just pray. It's, it's, it's prayer I'm going to offer her that mm. God comes to give her the wisdom and me. to continue with what she has started Amen. and what, what she has to, she's doing in Amen. good health. Amen. And uh, peace of mind. Amen. I'll try as much as possible to, to make her happy. Amen. Because I believe it's my duty mm. to provide for my house. Mm. You know, some men lack something. When it comes to looking after the house, so I, be, I strongly believe it is the duty of a man to provide everything in the house. <laughs> everything? Everything to the pain that is needed in the house. Make sure our children, our wives are well taken care of. Well taken care of because um, their spirits are always there for us. Mm. The, the, their spirit always provides more for us. But some people, when you go to their houses, you can hardly sit. Because the kind of setup you meet in the house, when they make food for you to eat, you will look at it and you will say, no, even though you are hungry, you won't be able to eat. You see their children, they look unkept. You will look like, ah, this man that there uh, is everywhere in town, and look at the way <laughs> that his children looks like, you know. I don't believe in that, I strongly believe my own comes first. So that me going out, I make sure I stay home and spend the little I have to look after my family mm. instead of going out. That, that, was, that, that was what I do when I was growing up. Sometimes when, when I was still with my boss, when I get back home and, and on a Friday and I realize all I have left in my pocket is something that will, will take care of the house, I will stay in the house from that Friday to Monday. I only go out on Monday. So this is what I've been going out and making my home suffer. I will never do I have not been doing that. Hmm. And I won't do it till tomorrow. Hey, oh my shoko. Yes. Abami, you have a very humble beginning. And I, I will use this interview to crown it all because uh, your birthday is just around the corner too. You, you, we're going to celebrate you. 57. You're going to be 57. Inshallah. So, I handle a life for everything. You have a very humble beginning. They don't know that you have a very uh, humble beginning. I remember you told me how you started when you turned 55. You said, Biola, Master Show on Tobagbe. Tobagbe turned in my home. You even told me, I should see my introduction. You are one of me, Laura. Tori, any me. Tori, yes, is that Tori? Any me. I want you to say this to many who admire you, many who see you and say, oh, Aladdin was shocked. Many who see you and say, oh, Aladdin lago. 
I want you to motivate those going through a phase. Come up with a young man, in call to man lack or jack. Can you talk debut on loan? Thank you, brother. It's uh, has not been easy like that. I'm mm. getting to where we are today. Alhamdulillah. 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 It's not by my power nor might, mm. but it's just the will of God. Mm. Because I can tell you that I'm not scared of spending my money. Mm. I'm not scared of going anywhere. Mm. I'm not scared of working with anybody. I'm not, I'm not scared of anybody talking about me. Mm. The only thing my driver will say about me is that, okay, we we'll do, do take. Alade to some lady's house. <laughs> that is the only thing they can say about. They will not tell you that in taking them to somewhere, mm. somewhere where it's going to kill a ram or do mm. something. And no, I, I don't do that. Life. I don't do that. I, I strongly believe in my God. Mm. Uh, but, you know, when we were growing, it wasn't rosy. Mm. But I wasn't, like I can say, my, my parents were not so poor and they weren't mm. so rich. Mm. But I, I can remember vividly in those days. You know, when we used to carry our tray, we go about hawking maggi, hawking mm. tomato. You hawk too? Yes, I do. Wow. I, I, we, 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 I, all this, um, I'm a, um, this um, place, where, where, Marikas. Wow. I used to go there, I sell maggi from Hekoto. to maggi, tomato, bonfita, you know? Mm. Kwanla in those days, because my grandma used to say Kwanla. They called me Oma oh, Mamone Kwanla. That's what they mm. call us. So I, I used to hawk. People who know me will testify that I do. I, I, that, that I did. Yes. You know? And uh, it's, it's the will of God that I'm who am I today. So I will never look down on people that does that. I would just want people, that, the upcoming children that we are having these days, to be ready to walk. The majority of our people, of our, of, of, of children of this day, doesn't want to walk. You have to walk. I work for everything I have. Though it's not because I'm smart, but God blesses my heart. Alhamdulillah. 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 So we should learn to walk. And when we are growing, people, people, there are people that, people, some, some people we join, I have friends that does mechanic, tailoring, um, electrician. But these days, you, they don't, they don't want to do all those jobs. All they want is wake up, go to their computer, and start making money. It doesn't work like that. You are so I, I have started 15 years with somebody. Yes, before the, you started the last. Yeah, I, work, I joined them 1st of June, 1987. I resigned 1st of July, 2002. That is 15 years and one month solid, serving somebody, working under somebody. So before we sell Bilav, I look at what Bilav is today. Yes. And I'm one of the best friends of my, of, yes. of my boss today. Yes. He always, he's always at any of his events. And you're still going to see it today because he's always all out for um, Alaji Lukman, yes. Alade for what are they? Yes. So all your friends, we want you to say thank you to them because all of them are here, right from um, Alaji Mahmoud Boro, that's on Kutunde Barokini, to Ejibadero, your brother, to um, the right, uh, right honorable Mudashiru Obasa. Lots of them, you've come a long way. Uh, Alaji Mohamed Lamez. Yes. You, you have friends. You keep your friends. Yes. All your child friends are still with you. Yes. How have you been able to do this? Yeah, because uh, I, don't, I don't see myself as somebody special. Mm. Because I see myself as nobody. We, we are all equal. And I, and, I, and I look back and give glory to God for making me one of those that will be able to still fit into the league and the team of my friends. Oh, because there are some of us that when they see us, they will like, ah, my Kori Mio. Mm. Because they cannot fit into this system. I to say thank you to your wife. Ah. And to all your friends ah. who are going to be all out to celebrate with you. Ah. To wish them Johnny Mess. You want me to say uh, thank you to my wife? I maybe I have to prostrate and say thank you to her. <laughs> because she... she, she She's a wonder. She deserves everything. She's, she, everything that is happening today, she's, she, she deserves an accolade for it. She's a woman that uh, whoever, uh, that I, I pray that when next I come back to this life, I wish I marry my wife. I don't Amen. I mean.